Welcome back everybody, No Man's Sky, this is Alon Paul, and we are in, I won't call it Season 2, I'm not sure what to call it yet, I'm going to decide that, when you're, you're probably looking at the title because that's where my decision has been made, but at the time I'm recording this, I've decided not to call it anything. Um, I'm just going to leave it as Episode 16 of our series, um, which is our, I've got my third main save going, we've started a whole new run through of No Man's Sky, and Boy, if you saw the last episode, how it ended, good grief. It ended completely different than I expected. What's that beacon all about? This is kind of crazy. We are picking up in the Adrift expansion now. This is the Adrift expansion, so you'll see that in the title. So we've gone from Orbital to Adrift, and we're going to just keep going from here. Um, yeah, so uh, as you know, at the end of the last episode, I actually um, uh, ended up on <clears throat> a planet... Uh, you know, after going through the center of the universe and everything like that. However, uh, you see I'm on a space station at the moment. The reason for that is because, as you saw in a uh, special episode, I did the, um, what do you call it, the uh, expedition with my tertiary save. So I now have access to that ship. So if we go in here just to show you, not there, um, you can see I can switch out for my, oh, it doesn't have it in here yet. Okay, I can get the Iron, uh, what is it, Iron Falcon? I can't even remember anymore <laughs> what the name of the ship is. That's sad. I can get the ship from the Expedition, but I'm not going to right now. Um, we're going to stick with this ship for now. I will pull it in later. But boy, did I like the Paradise Planet we landed on, right? Isn't that a pretty planet? Is that? Son of a gun. That was one of them. <laughs> Unbelievable. Anyway. Uh, I want to make sure I have multiplayer off right now. Good, good. I just wanted to be certain of that. So we are in the Eisentum galaxy now. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and head over to this planet. This looks to me like a fabulous planet. It has no water. I don't like that, but that's okay. What a beautiful planet this is. I love the color. I am going to set up a base real quick in this area. We're not going to go crazy with setting up a base right now as far as, you know, getting all the stuff involved. We're just going to drop a base computer down, drop a couple extra things down. Uh, I, as usual, would like to land near something that help, that's helpful to me. Uh, that is not helpful to me. Uh, that will help me find a crash ship. As you know, we're always looking for new ships. We're always looking for uh, money at this point. So... So we're going to go ahead and check it out real quick here. Uh, let's see, door. Door's never on the side, I think it is. Uh, it's probably over here. Nope, not over here. Over here? Yeah, let's put it on the other side from the landing pad. That's a brilliant idea. Okay. I do need copper, of course, at some point, so we're going to have to do some resource gathering at some point with this new save because I am running low on a great many things. Uh, let's see. 56, 59, 63, 68, 74. It's increasing in value. So 3, 4, 5, 6. So obviously the next one's going to be 7 higher. So looking at 81. All right. One it is. Green. All right. So we found our distress signal. We're not, we may head over that direction, but I'm mostly looking for, as you know, a um, minor settlement is my favorite. I like to set up a new base, usually near a minor settlement, because you have access then to resources that you don't normally have an access to. Landing platforms are cool. I just don't like them as much for that kind of thing. So, you know. And, of course, as usual, it looks like we have discovered all the animals on the planet. Let's find out. Six of the seven. What's the seventh? Underground. Okay, so we'll keep an eye open. That is actually an underground area here. Um... Or considered to be such so usually if there's an underground creature it will show up right around the open area of the underground area sometimes you have to go in but i'm not going to worry about it just a second we're doing pretty good on um all of our uh, other resources that we have that is um what do you call it um, nanites we're doing pretty good on credits so uh, biggest thing I'm looking for, I got a, I got a decent multi-tool. I really would like to get a, um, 
I had the word in my head a little bit ago. Not a Sentinel multi-tool, because that's pretty much what this is. Um, but the uh, anomaly, the ones that we get from the uh, Corvax systems from their... Uh... Wow. And, and just keep in mind, folks, it's early morning here, so I'm still trying to wake up. I'm, I haven't even finished my coffee yet. As I take another sip, because uh, I don't I don't like to drink it cold. <laughs> so, all right. It looks like, did I send out send out a base computer over there? Or is that just a save beacon? I think I just put down a save beacon. So we'll check that out real quick and see where, where this is. It's not too far away. There we go. Because maybe that's a good spot and we will be setting up a base. So we... Um, yeah, and the Lanted multi-tool, I think is what I'm looking for. Um, so that's what I want to get, and we get them from monoliths. There we go. See, I knew I'd come about it. I just needed another sip of coffee to remember. There we are. So, um, it, it really is a pretty planet. Yellow sky is, it's okay. I like a blue sky, of course, uh, being partial to being human. Um, it is just what it is. But, what a pretty planet it is. And, you know, no weather issues I got to worry about. I'm not, I don't have anything attacking me. That, except Sentinels, of course. <laughs> As you saw at the last, the end of the last episode. And that was kind of a crazy ending, wasn't it? I mean, that, that really was wild. Um, so, let's see where this led me. Where, where did I find? We got a couple of bases. Oh, it's a Sentinel Hive. Very nice. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, I didn't watch all, all of my last episode. So this is good. We got a tower nearby. Um, this looks like another... Okay, it looks like st um, star bulbs. Okay. If I can find a minor settlement nearby, that would be great. I did search around on foot. I do remember doing that. Um... Not sure if it was even part of the episode. Why don't we... Use our economy scanner. Uh, trade outpost is all I'm looking for. How far? Oh. Nice. Um, yeah, other side of the planet we're talking here? No? About Ten minutes away? I don't really want a trading post. Will it find me a minor settlement? That's what I'm curious about, now that I've found that. No? Okay. So we have to find it on our own. That's the sucky part right now. Um, so we got a couple of little mini settlements there that we can, like campsites and stuff like that, that we can get resources from. But um, where is that at? That's at 10 minutes away. Let's head towards it, and we're going to look for the minor settlement I've been wanting to find. It's nice to have the uh, Sentinel Hive nearby, but it's not necessary. So I will leave the save beacon there, and we'll just hope for the best. Um, this is going to take less than five minutes to get there. Once we establish a base computer, set up a little hut, and maybe drop a landing pad down there, because that's what I would like to do, so I have some place to land, and we'll expand it off-camera, probably, and get it set up a little bit more. Um, and we may save some stuff. Maybe I'll save the base building for later. Maybe I'll save it for a live stream after the expedition's over, things like that. We'll do that. That'll be kind of nice. As you know, this channel is almost all No Man's Sky. can't believe I'm finding nothing. This is really weird. So, you know, obviously we'll be leaning more towards that. We'll do some stranded runs and things like that. Those are always fun. Speed runs are a very big uh, boost to everybody. Everybody loves speed runs. So I will continue to do them for the expeditions. I've come to that decision. Um, recognizing the fact that there are some who are either going to drop out completely and not do them anymore... Um, and I understand. I mean, you want to. Def Some people like to be uh, more diverse in the games that they play, so I understand that. Um, but you know, then the competition drops out, and there's no one to compete against. So there's that. I can't believe we haven't found anything. There's literally no settlements nearby. 
that was the tr closest trading outpost apparently and that little spot I found with the sentinel hive was an unusual uh, setup so very interesting I'm just using my boosters right now to go so as soon as I let go of my booster I will find say I just passed over something and it didn't come up on the radar uh, what 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 what's up with that I don't know I don't know it's really weird So we'll keep going here. We've got two more minutes to get there. I figured we could just do this and I'll end up finding something on the way, but not uh, not not too hopeful here. This is really odd. Now, the thing about the ship is we don't necessarily need the money. Uh, the best way to get money, you know, obviously is to turn in those ships, but those but these crash ships, these, these minor crash ships, uh, they're better for parts. So as we w gather up some parts, we might be able to cr create, and it was Iron Vulture. See, I thought I'd remember. I just needed more coffee. Um, is we can create some a uh, uh, some coupled together Franken ship that I'm looking forward to making. I, I want to create at least one Franken ship for myself. And for this save. And I am going to pull in one Iron Vulture. Um, whether I will cobble it together and make my own color scheme I think I can do that too so you know we got to we got to get at least three of those and we got to get them before the end of the expedition so at the time you're watching this video the expedition should be over but at the time I'm recording it it is not so uh yeah there's that really that many scans and not one hit unbelievable that is crazy so yeah, I hope you're enjoying this video. You know, 12 minutes in and we're just uh, flying around. Beautiful landscape, though. I mean, check this out. Oh, there was an archive. Well, that's good. I hope I don't have anything on board that they're going to be pissed about. I'll have to land real quick. No, oh, okay, we're good. I try to keep all the contraband off my ship. All right, well... Um, very unlucky, I suppose. I don't know how to look at it. I don't believe in luck, but there, there you are. Um, oh, wrong button. <laughs> I knew that. Uh, let's see. A ship we got here once it finally shows up, and is it a, yep, it's an abandoned one. Okay. Just a shuttle. So we can get some parts from it, maybe, or just turn it in. It may not be anything special. But we can get updates, or upgrades, I mean, sometimes, or technology. Uh, cockpit is pristine, devoid of damage, save for, the, for that caused by the deceased pilot's impact against the control panel. Its data banks, however, look as if they could be brought back online. Lights intermittently flash around me. Some systems clearly remain inoperative, how, uh, one of which appears to be a sophisticated security sensor and camera array. So do we access the ship's data banks or loot the ship for functioning technology? Hmm... Let's go number two today. Discover useful tech. However, the ship has recorded my looting. Unable to erase the footage, I leave. A conflict scanner. Sweet. I didn't get one of those yet, I don't think. Um, I'm pretty sure I don't have conflict scanners yet. Or do I? I do. Oh, that sucks. Well, now I have the technology on purpose, and I can build it anytime I want. I have a 40... What? I have one of those exosuit upgrade card charts too, so that's good. That's okay. So maybe I should have done the right thing and just check check the databanks, but you know maybe the same thing would have happened. Uh, as always, check your loot. I mean, granted, I've got two hundred million right now, which it's a it's a good amount, but it's not crazy crazy good. I also need a freighter. We got to go freighter hunting one of these days, right? It's time, more than time. All right, that. Well, we can get a freighter from the expedition, so there's that. We've already got the expedition done. I can get a freighter from it, but, but, because um, I don't think I have one, correct? Let me see. No freighter owned. <laughs> so there you are. So I don't own one right now, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, do we want to take the ship? Let's just check the ship out real quick and just see if it's worth it. A-class, maybe? Oh, it is. Uh, any technology on board? Uh, I don't see any at all. 
So it's worth a little bit. So we'll go ahead and grab it. Um, compare, uh, claim. Uh, we will just fix the technology that we can fix. Starship. Uh, right there. Uh, let's see. I got both, so I'll go ahead and put them in. So this ship is now spaceworthy, and I can pull it up into the space station when I wish. But for the time being, do we have any buildings nearby? I don't think we do. We saw the archive, and I've never built near an archive before. So is that a thing? Let's do this while we're sitting on the ground. One more time. Nope, it just finds me the same one. Okay, so we don't really have enough to do what we want to do. All right, no big deal. Let's turn back around. Let's head towards the archive. I think, personally, that will be a great idea. We'll head back towards the save point, and the archive should be right in front of us. Because we kind of headed in a straight line, did we not? Should be coming up. Would suck if I if I lost it, but you know it is what it is. You know. And this time, if we do find the archive again, which should be coming up very soon, make sure I've got my engines up. There it is. Okay, and it's one of those cool archives too with the floating ball. I kind of like that. All right, do a quick scan. Oh, now we find a building, huh? All right, what's the building over here? Let's just take a look. It's a nice flat spot, so it'll be pretty good. Is there anything there at all? Or is it just a beacon? Nope, just a uh, a campsite. A worthless campsite at the moment. I don't see anything else. Let's go back over here. So, do we go to the mountaintop, maybe? Let's scan this way. And there's another one on top of over here. Because I was thinking at the top of the mountain as well. Is this worth it? Ah, okay, well. Not a minor settlement. It looks like we got another one over there. That's fantastic. So we have a landing spot at the moment. No launch thrusters needed. Let's go up to the top of this and take a look. Alright, so we got our structure right there. Says unknown, but all we need to do is uh, usually scan. There you go. So now it tells us it's an observatory like the one we're at. Um, I don't see anything else around us. Got a good amount of resources. Um, why don't we do it here? This will be fine. I like it here. It's a nice place. All right, we got it. And plus, we, I think we have caves nearby. Most of these places do. No, I wouldn't call that a cave system. I would call that just a uh, rough and tumble in that area. All right. Um, let's go. I like I like to be close to the edge. Let's go over here, I think. That looks nicer. Good view. Look at that. We can expand up the slope a little bit if we wish. I can do a kind of a multi-tier thing. All right. Let's see. Do we have the resources to build what I want? Let's find out. Let's get a base computer dropped, and here we go. So, like I said, I'm just going to do this real quick, and then we're going to get our beacon going. Uh, claim the base, and off we go. I'm curious to what the archive is going to look like in the middle of the night. Uh, let's see. So, and I want to get a landing pad down. We're going to do that in a moment. I'm not going to do any of these weird structures. I use this just to get the, the, my uh, base off the ground a little bit. Um, and I'm going to do it towards the slope here. And we'll probably put our landing pad out in the open over that way. So I'm just using it as a place to get things started. All right. Um, what do we want to make it out of? We have timber. And that's it. Okay, that's fine. We'll start with that. And go up a little bit. We can make a bunch. But I'm not going to make this completely and terribly huge. There we go. So nine. 
A nine by nine. That sounds familiar. Boy, that brings back memories. Um, I don't think we have any glass on us, but let me check. We do. How many can we make? Ten. Oh, that's good. All right. So one, two, uh, three, four, five, six. I like symmetry. There's just something about the symmetry of doing certain things that I like. And seven and eight. We'll put a couple skylights in, too. Each one of those sections are going to be doors. Um, I guess you'll have to do... One, two, three, and four. All right. I am not going to make this terribly tall this time. Most of it is going to be with, I think we're going to go flat panels like this. I'm just going to do it very, very plain. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we're going to do two glass ones on the top here. Eight, nine. There we go. So that's all we can make there. Um, can we build our landing pad? Do we have enough? We do. So we're going to put the landing pad right here out in the open. I think that'll be kind of pretty. Uh, let's see. I got the computer facing the correct way. Okay, good. So that'll go there. Um, we need some stairs, obviously. Uh, let's go back over here. Timber ramps. I don't think I can put one there because my body's in the way. <laughs> So let me just put some around the other sides real quick. And like I said, we'll expand up the hill at some point. We'll put some uh, other stuff up that way. B. Get my butt out of the way. There we go. Okay. And what we can do is, where's our base computer at? There it is. Oh, we may have to put another stairwell down there. Okay, that's no problem. We're going to put our base computer inside. Actually, I like it better over here. Is that good? Yep, that'll work. That's good. Facing towards the platform. Oh, nice. That's very nice. All right, so we need to build um, just a one one or two more little things here. Let's go back to here. Do we have short stairs? Yeah, we do. There we go. One, two. Will that get me up and down? Yes, it will. Okay. Let's do the same thing over here. One, two. Again, up and down, no problem. That one is hitting the ground, no problem. So, yeah. All right, good. We have ourselves a, a base. I mean, it's not populated at all. We don't have any lighting in here, but it's it's ready to go. We're ready to go. All right. Shall we get our beacon going? Let's see what this entails. Um, as you can see, I cleaned out some of my inventory. Um, we do need a... I forgot about that. Oh, crap. Um, we do need power, and we need some uh, storage. Crap. Okay. Um, yeah, we do need to do that. I'm sorry. I never even checked to see if we could build anything here, and we haven't even gotten that far. So we're going to do, uh, let's see, how about a couple of solar panels for now? Um, let's get, it says we could build four of them. So one, uh, two, and you don't have to put them out in the open, honestly. Three, and there's four. And we need a battery, but we're going to make a biofuel reactor. Let's make some metal plates real quick. Uh, one. Or I need at least, I think, two batteries. Put them over here. It's, it's going to be kind of messy. That's all right. And for now, I want to get at least one or two biofuel reactors because we are going to need some extra juice once in a while. Uh, we got wiring. Good. Did I... I went to the wrong one. That's okay. Good. Everybody's ready. Okay, let's go to the biofuel reactors and drop some stuff in it. Uh, what do we got? Yeah, that's all right. Get that started, and we're going to get this one started, too, because I just want to get them building up some juice. All right. 
and let's put the is it down here yeah there it is so let's put zero right here i think let me hit the b button so i can get a better idea of where i'm placing it i want to put it underneath the edge of my floor there i don't think it'll come through the floor but if it does it does i don't care it does, but in a very odd way. So that's pretty cool. And I am going to stick number two, uh, number one right next to it. Because I don't think, how many do I have? I only think I have the two. I might have a number two someplace, but this will work for now. Let's go back to power. Run wiring. From here to there. And we're powered up. And how is the power doing? Still climbing. All right, good. Now we have access to our storage. Excellent. Um, all right. So this is a factory override unit we got from a, from you know what we got it from uh, our last anomaly mission. We got some other stuff in here. There's the beacon. No, that's the pirate transponder. There's a beacon in here someplace. There it is. That's the beacon, the rendezvous beacon. So we'll be getting that going here in a minute. I am going to hang on to some stuff in here. Uh, I will always hang on to at least one walker brain because you never know when you got to repair something. We're going to be opening these up in a little bit. I don't need these right now, so I'm going to stick them in there. Salvage data is always a good thing to have. Um, I don't think I'm going to carry it right now. I'll stick it in my inventory since there's a spot for it. We have activated cadmium. How much do we have over here? And this is regular cadmium. Now, the thing about the cadmium is that it's always good to keep a certain amount of it in here. That goes in there. Uh, geology cannon. Yeah, we can sell that. Uh, I'm not going to keep that at all. And these can be sold. Look at the amount of money you get for those. I'm going to keep uh, the pirate transponders because we're going to be turning them in for mercenary upgrades uh, for our status with the merc mercs. Um, I don't need the feces on me at this time. Mino chamber, same thing. And we're out of room in there. There's our transponder thing. Okay. We'll be selling these off. Uh, we'll keep that because we want to have that on. Is this regular? Yes, it is. How much do we have? Okay, we got a bunch. Let me split it. Okay, do we have copper or activated copper in here? We've got gold. We're going to check our ship. There's some regular copper. Let's take half of that. Um, we got pyrite. That's okay. There's the emerald. We've already got some of that. All right. So we're just really just organizing things and hanging on to certain stuff, getting rid of others. I don't think we can put that in there. Yeah, we don't have anything, any room in there. For it. Okay. Got plenty of resources up here. Let's hit the second one. It's full, too. I may want to build the uh, third one, just to see. Uh, we do have quantum computer and stuff in here. Uh, E-class reactor. Hyperdrive module. I don't know why we have that. We should probably get rid of it. Um, cadmium. Alright, we got regular and activated. I don't know why this is here, so we're going to put it in our inventory. Give us a little extra. There's some more gold. Again, um... Terrible inventory choices. Frigate modules are in here, which I think I just dropped one in the other one. We do have that. All right, so we're going to take that and we're going to add it to it. All right, so we don't need that in our inventory. Dioxide is for us. We've got a good amount of oxygen and carbon in our inventory. What else do we have in here that we can get rid of? There's emerald again. See, that's what I mean. We really need to organize this stuff. Uh, what else we got? Arfinium, got some storm crystals. There's more of the pirate transponders. Good grief. We really need to do something with those. I'll hang on to them until we can get rid of them. Um, a little bit of that. Cytoplasma. All right. I don't think we really need anything else out of here. Dioxide. There's cobalt and... Let's always grab a half of each of these and have some on board. It's good to have that as a resource in your inventory. I usually keep it in the ship. We have activated indium. We need regular indium as well. All right. Let's go back to the other uh, slot over there. We don't have anything else in here we need. Uh, I'm going to get rid of some of our bugnium. There it is. Uh, actually, 
even more. Okay. Got uranium. We have ammonia. Got phosphorus. Uh, let's see. So we have enough to get by. Plenty of batteries. Got a few pl unstable plasmas. Plenty of chromatic metal. We'll keep that on us because we can use it. All right. I think we're in good shape. Let's just check the other one and put the other stuff away. Like this. You know what? What's in our ship? I didn't check that. Because I do like to store some of this in my ship. I got gold in there already. Uh, this shouldn't even be there. We got a good amount of copper. Let's bring that into my main inventory. And a ton of cadmium. Oh my gosh. All right. I didn't realize we had that. All right. We do have some pugnium. We'll put that in my main inventory for now. I'm probably going to be switching some stuff over. I'm going to hang on to Mordite because, of course, we've got other things going on. Deuterium, chromatic metal. We always want to keep our wiring looms over here if it's at all possible. I always like to keep silver and gold in my ship inventory. Tritium, good to have. We've got a good amount of resources in here. Um, I don't think we need the crystallized hearts for anything, except repairs. All right, let's hang on to them for now. I'll get rid of the one because we don't really need to hang on to it. And the same thing with the mirrors. We'll just hang on to some of those. Starship shield batteries are always good. The repair, okay, great. Do we really need that much? Okay. All right, that looks good. Let's move the stuff over real fast here. So the emerald can go over there. These are the resources I like to get rid of um, and keep in my ship inventory. It is just my way of doing things. Um, we have the pugnium. The pugnium's down there. Okay, the gold is going over there. The emerald's going over there for now. I think that's good. All right. Oh, and we need to put that away. Definitely need to put that away. That's going to get put away. That's going to get put away. That's going to get put away. Deuterium is mostly used in the ship. I'm going to put it back over there. Mordite, I'm definitely putting away, and we don't need to keep hypnotic eyes on us. Uh, we still don't have an onboard uh, processor yet. We're working on that. Oh, crap. There's all kinds of more stuff up here I missed. How did I miss this? Chlorine? Yeah, we're going to go ahead and put that away. The hydrogen always. Uh, we'll keep this and this. We'll put those away. Obviously, all of them we'll put away. Okay, so now we know what we're putting away. Almost done. Almost done. I know we're a half hour in, but you got to see what happens on this kind of stuff. So, uh, that... Okay, is there a spot for you? No, no. Okay, good. Chlorine? No. Nope. Mordite we had room for. No, no, no. Oh, we did, and we did. Okay. So those are put away. Let's go back over here and put some more in the other storage. Okay, and we're going to put that in there. Those in there. Eyeball. Chlorine. And we'll put you guys away. Okay, good. Everything appears to be gone. All right. Good shape. Very nice. I think we've got everything. We want to try to make the one more um, storage container because we are unsure on whether or not we happen to have a third one at our other base. So I'm just going to put it right here on the edge, just like that one was. There we go. And we're going to run a wire to it to get it powered up. All right. Anything in here? Okay, so this one's empty. All right, so we have an extra storage container. Very good. We're done. All right, we want to open those other ones up real fast to see what we had. Um, there. Hmm. All right. I think we got some stuff out of it from down here. Nothing special. We got two of these and two of these. All right. And let's go ahead and put this and this. You always want to keep some of these things because you never know when these resources are going to be needed down the road. I, I promise you, you're going to need them sooner or later. So whenever you get something like that, try to keep, keep them unless you're really that desperate for money. Oh, we had a quantum computer in there. 
Must be over here. There, there it is. Okay, good. And that one's finally full. All right, so, um, and are these worth it? Do we sell them or not? Um, we got some pretty decent, we have a, one decent upgrade out of the three. So, we're going to go ahead and put it in. Whoop, wrong one. And then put that one in. And let's check it out. Four rate. Okay, that's got a plus seven fire rate. That's actually better than a couple of these. Plus eight. Plus nine. That's the better one. So actually, it's not as good. Neither one of these are as good. Except for the fact that it has uh, three on here. Plus seven, minus five reload, and plus one damage. The plus one damage is actually good. See, that one's got that too. And that one does not. So even though the fire rate is higher, I'm going to uninstall it. And we're going to put this one in its place. And we're going to uninstall this one. All right, so my damage potential is 6261. Okay, that one's better. With the plus 9 fire rate, it actually made it better. So what we'll do is we'll just install this we don't get any more nanites for it and uninstall it and we'll get more resources for it that way all right you what do we got up here 45 and 30 okay that's got three with the core core health so these two are core healths so let's put this in and this in what do we get Ooh. okay that's definitely worth keeping that is not okay so out of these 30 shield 45 life support That has neither of those, very interestingly enough. We do have, okay, we have the core health. So solar panel is at 70, sprint is 58. Okay, it can replace this one. I'm going to hang on to this one because it's got more stuff that I can use, even though this will give me one more. Mm, okay, let's get rid of this one because this one will help me more. It'll give me an extra extra bubble in, in life support. So we're going to keep that. All right. And we'll move this over into the other inventory. Guess what time it is. It's time to get rid of this. Let's see what this does for it. We're going to activate the beacon, which should start a new. Let's see. Uh, retrace the final steps of the crashed ship. Okay, let's do it. It looks like my volume may be really low. I may have to fix that. All right, so we have a spot. I'm going to go over here and increase the volume on my recording. I keep it low for the speed runs, so. All right, so where is it pointing us to? Did it give us a new a new uh, log? Oh. Is that what it gave us? I think it did. There's my ship. Let's head over to the ship. Let me just make sure it doesn't do anything when I take off. It didn't do anything. Ah, up there. See? That way. So that's the rendezvous navigation beacon. So that's where it took us. So it's literally making us do under a rebel star. Let's get her done. Wow, it's way out there. Huh. Opportunity to drink something real quick there, sorry. Now, my guess is it's going to be a floating something or other. Or maybe it'll be a derelict freighter. Ah. Okay, keep your eyes peeled. There we go. Now, do I have... We do have our infra knife. Uh, it's not the most powerful in the world, but that's okay. Okay, that one's gone. Nope, oh, we're going to go to the other one. Okay. 
one more. I think. Nope, two. It was two. There we go. Got rid of him. Last one. Power transponders it seems to be what we keep getting. Alright. So, do we get anything from this ship? Let's head over. What's our journey milestone? 60 starships. That's nice. Alright. And these we can shoot. I know that. And I don't know if it'll attract anybody else. We just get gold out of it. There we go. Up. Oh, yeah. It pulls more. Annoying people in. So we'll do it again. I think it only took brought in two this time it appears. Nope, three. We got three. Haven't gotten over the damage from the last battle, but that's okay. I don't know why I wasn't hitting him. It looked like it was hitting him dead on. Wow, that was weird. My ship's getting annoyed at me because my shields are almost gone. Come on. Thank you. Is that it? Yes. Alright. So, what's the plan, Stan? What do we got? So there's the ship. Do we just get closer to it? Do I have to land on it? Oh. Oh. Gotta ping the navigation beacon. Alright. And talk to them. Lie upon lie upon lie is what my display says on my screen in my ship. That's interesting. You wish to follow us to seize your freedom, to reject the grand lies of the Atlas? We shall see if you are worthy of the voice of freedom. Challenge them. I hear only static in reply, a faint laugh echoing through the noise. Okay, so it looks like that's what we're doing. We're going to be doing the Voice of Freedom now. Keeping in mind that we have this too, the They Who Return. We're going to do both of these, I think. Not today, but we'll get this one done. Uh, we want to head back to there. I don't know where we're heading. Is that, a, is that a moon? Oh yeah, it is. It is a moon or a planet. No, it's a moon. It's the one that's orbiting my paradise planet that I've got here. Very nice. And now we've got uh, a little more game audio going on. Hopefully you don't mind that. Not sure why. Here. Object of interest. Um, do we want to talk to this guy? No, not really. Sorry, buddy. <clears throat> Excuse me. Approximate locations. So we're going to have to do some scans. My guess is either it's a building or... Okay, there's a building there or a crashed ship. That one's further away. One more scan in this direction when it charges. And over there. That one looks like it might be closer. No, it's not that much closer. We also should be looking for any crashed ships. That is a drop pod. What is that? It says unknown building. That's a building. That seems more likely. That seems more likely. Um, I don't think that is something on the ground. That's probably something on my planet. My old ship or something like that. So I don't think that's it. Let's go there. It's got a landing pad, so... We'll take it. Okay. We guessed right. Let's see what it shows us. 
What's up, dude? All right. We are in Observatory, Voice of Freedom. Let's see what it says. Glorious survivor, welcome. The path to liberty is bzzz, shall be our own masters. Bzzz, rid of the crimson, crimson illusion. A sky for the strong. Sky for the strong, huh? Hmm, interesting. It's broadcast finished. The terminal begins printing a secure pass. An invitation, it seems, to meet the voice of freedom. So we accept the invitation, of course. And we now have that in our inventory. Ticket to freedom, it's called. <clears throat> Get resources. Always. Alright. Had to do a little voice clearing there. It is early, like I said. Um, my jack laser. That's an opportunity to get some sodium nitrate, so I will take it every time. Okay, back to the uh, pickup truck of a swing wing. All right, so where are we going? Deploy the ticket from the inventory. Okay. Oh, what do we get here? Uh, plasma launcher. Okay, that's good. I can get rid of that. It's in my regular inventory. Up here. Hey, there you are. Whoa. Alright, I've never seen it do a pullback before while I was in a ship. So that's a first. Alright, where to? Fly into space. And access the galaxy map. Okay. Yes, sir. We are in space. Galaxy map, here we come. So what do we got? Okay, we're going to Bakov 4. And actually looks like a pirate system. So if we expand that out, you see it's pirate control, that lost station. It's got all the usual refinements. Since we have an economy and pirate scanner, pardon me, conflict scanner, we can determine all this. On our way. All right. Coffee is just about finished. There we go. Exit. So are we heading for the space station? We're heading for a spot south, or just under the space station, apparently. Oh, um, hello? Dock with the outlaw station. Why didn't you just put it on the station? Rah, 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 rah. <laughs> Crying out loud. <laughs> All right, here we are. Now we're coming up on the outlaw station. So, if I remember correctly, this is the moment where you talk to everybody. Let's see what happens here. And we're out. Okay. Let's go ahead and see what we need to do here. We just make sure. It should be telling us. Locate the voice of freedom. Okay, so let's talk to people. Welcome, glorious survivor. Here, there are no Gek, no Corvax, no Vikeen. Here we speak one tongue. Here we are free. Ask about the voice of freedom. Only the strong deserve to sing with the glorious voice of freedom. We do not permit the weak to find us. Okay. Outlaws interrogated one. Okay, I'm going to hit this director up again. Welcome, new face. To find us is to be chosen. To find us is to be free. Ask about the voice. There are those who would deny us our freedom, new face. Those who would sacrifice everything to appease the sentinels. But the voice keeps us free. It's two. Another director. The Crimson Fiend corrupts mind, uh, minds across the galaxy. No more will we prostrate ourselves before its all-seeing red eye. To speak with the voice of freedom is to roar back against the crimson void. It is glory itself. Okay, that's three. Do we just keep talking to people? I guess we do. Let's go to another one. You are one of us now, new face. You are bonded to us. You are free. Ask. The voice is not one voice, but many. It is our voice. It is your voice. You sing with our choir now. And we just got the shroud of freedom. Congratulations to us. Um, and it's just sent us 
out of the station to look at stuff. Oh, it wants us to check everything out. Okay. All right, so we're going to check out the aftermarket guy. Um, I thought I was checking it out. Okay, so we are going to actually, since we're here, we're going to take advantage of selling our little hyperdrive module, the geology cannon that we're never going to use, and the plasma launcher we'll never use, just to get some extra nanites. So they have some nice stuff in here. It's all going to be um, aftermarket stuff, like hyperdrive units and stuff like that. I always look for interesting stuff, like uh, infra knife accelerator upgrades and stuff like that. Um, I don't really see a whole lot. I don't know if my ship has much in it right now. Let me just check. Yeah, we could use some upgrades for the uh, infra knife that are better than what I've got. Oh, you know what I'm missing? The Q Resonator. I just realized that. I got an Infra Knife Accelerator. But I don't have the Q Resonator. Son of a gun. I thought I had that. Well, that explains why it's so slow. <laughs> and what is... Where's my hyperdrive at? Oh, for crying out loud, it's up here. So the Q Resonator's up here. All right, I was scrolled down. My bad. That's terrible. Unbelievable. Uh, pulse jump. Okay, good. The thing about pulse jumping, if you look at your maneuverability, is at 608 right now. These are all really, really nice. Um, but you should really take one and drop it down here. Where's it here? Okay, it still gives you 608, but one of them will give you more. 607. Yeah, 608. I thought it would give us more. Nope, it doesn't. My bad. Usually we'll get one more upgrade and we can put it down there. Uh, how's our... There's our hyperdrive. We have a cadmium drive. Specialist warp core. Okay, this one just gives us 238 light years, which is nice, and 221. We could use another upgrade for that. Um, thrusters always do help um so we could use an upgrade for that why don't we spend just a couple we'll get it uh let's get two of these if they have them we only have one okay so we'll get one um should really be putting it in the starship inventory what else we got protection pulse engine module yes let's get one of those and that should do it launch thrusters why not okay so let's try this. Will it help at all? Okay, so it is going to help. Alright, so I will leave it in here. It doesn't seem to make a difference where I'm putting it. You. Okay, so now we have an overload. Two maneuverability and six. Alright, it's not good. Alright, so let's just get rid of it. And we have our hyperdrive upgrade which is going to conflict conflict with the rest. 306 light years. Good gravy. Um, it's better than our S-Class. Um, so let's get rid of the S-Class, I guess. Um, it doesn't have the efficiency, though. Wow. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so the A-Class can go. Okay, let's get rid of the A-Class. That'll be fine. Wow, look at that hyperdrive range just explode. Wow, that is crazy. Okay, just want to check to see if the positioning makes any difference. All right. Magnetized ferrite, we're just going to put that back in our inventory over there. All right, good. So we got some nice upgrades out of it. All right, let's go visit somebody else. Uh, what do we got? Mission board. We'll see what kind of missions they've got real quick. Not that I'm going to do any. So we can hunt, destroy pirates. We could do a lot of stuff in here and have some fun get some good stuff. You can get walker brains, exosuit upgrade charts, other things, so that's nice. Um, let's go down here. This guy has just regular items. They don't talk to you. They just jump right in. Uh, so we can get some more suspicious packets. We can get tritium here, which I kind of do need some more. Uh, repair kits, always very handy to get. Very nice. Very good stuff. A nice cobalt, chlorine, very good. Uh, what else we got? This is our exosuit upgrade. We're going to go ahead and do it because we can always get more. Um, I'm going to put it up here in our technology. Actually, I think our technology is pretty full. I'm not going to worry about it. We're going to keep putting it into our area over there. All right. Do we need to go over there too? Doesn't say. All right. So let's go here. And this is the weird one. Station core. 
Life support systems, commercial monitoring disabled, station defenses primed for freedom. Atlas Aeron surveillance uplate, uplink rejected. Request voice of freedom. Glorious survivor, the promised star will be yours. Glass, 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 glass. Okay, and that's it. That's all it tells you. So we'll walk around a little bit. There is our appearance modifier. If we want to put anything different on ourselves, which we're not going to. Um, we can get a weapon if we want, but there's no upgrades over here. Eh, it's not worth it. Um, there's no weapon terminal over here that you can talk to. There's this dude here. Oh, he's a scrap dealer. That's right. So if we have scrap, um, we can see what they've got. I don't have enough tainted metal uh, to get anything from here, but they usually have some pretty decent cool stuff you can get. And then that's it. All right, so let's check real quick. Explore the station. It looks like... Hold on a second. It looks like I have one more thing to do, but I do not see it, Sam. I am. Okay. And there's the Starship uh, adjustment unit. We can do improvements here, too. So let's get in our ship. I think that's what we got to do next, because it, it gets upset with you if you get in. No? Alright, that didn't do it either. Alright, so under a rebel star is kind of stuck at the moment. Let me see here. Outlaw Systems All Purchase, right? Complete lucrative missions, we know. Acquire forged passports. Alright, let's do this. Okay. Doesn't look like we've got anything else going on, so... I guess we talk to somebody else. Let's try to find out. Uh, now they suddenly don't talk at all. Okay. <clears throat> That's interesting. Alright, so I think we pretty much hit everything up in the um, whole section over here. And I think we just need to leave the station, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, same thing here. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and leave the station. Let's just see what happens here. Exit clearance. Pending. Interesting. The voice of freedom will not permit the Atlas silence. New face carries our voice. You must hide your trail. Take this document. Disrupt traffic records at a station core. Your voice will be free in the darkness. So we're going to accept the task. And we now have a forged passport. So we have to go to another station now. And we have to do it through hyperspace. We can't do it any other way. You can't use that to get to a regular station. So, and it's, uh, where is it sending us? Galactic Core. Let me just check something. Okay. So we are going to go back to our system, and we're going to do that. This should complete the mission, if I remember correctly. I knew we got that forged passport somehow. I just couldn't remember. So what don't we have? We don't have a solar ship yet, so maybe that's something we can do in the next episode. Get a solar ship, just one. Oh, you gotta be kidding. Guess what? Did I just shoot that ship? Yeah, I just blew up a ship. Alright, well, that's what it is. So we're not going to get a freighter out of this group. And everybody's going to be gunning for me now. I think I've been doing really, really great here. I think I've literally hit everything. we got Sentinels going about to come in. Do we have a pirate freighter here, too? Why can't I shoot this ship? Got it. Good grief. I don't know why I couldn't shoot that. Okay, that's the merchant freighter.
I think I'm going to have to hit the space station here. Another pirate gone. Got him. I think that's all of them. Alright, so where's the space station at? We have to find the space station. Oh, wrong button, that's why. Okay, there we go. Space station, where are you? Did I just pass it? No, that's the freighter. There it is. Space station there. Okay, good. We're on our way. So yeah, the Sentinels are going to be fighting me. All the merchant ships are fighting me because I accidentally blew up a ship I wasn't intending to. That was hilarious. Let's get more power to our weapon, our engines real quick and see if we can get to the space station just a little bit quicker. And that will end that. And now we can hit the station core real quick and get that taken care of. Yeah, you got to be careful of that crap, unfortunately. Uh, did I get anything out of this? No, I literally got nothing from those ships. Lovely. Maybe a couple transponders, that's about it. Station core? Where's the station core at? Scrap dealer. Where's the station core? I got to find it now. I haven't found a station core in this place yet. That's hilarious. Uh, let's take a look. Oh, it's up here. Got it. <laughs> That's fantastic if I can get all that crap off my screen. So, station core. High alert. Unusual activity detected. We're going to disrupt the station records and hit the forged passport. Registration accepted. Traffic patterns unexceptional. And that completes under a rebel star. So, I think we got it, right? Hide your tracks. Let's just see what happens. It might take a couple extra moments. My own system I end up getting wrecked in. Yep, it's gone. All right. So excellent. We've got under a rebel star uh, out of the way. Um, so we don't have to worry about that now. We've got all kinds of stuff in here, obviously. Dreams of the Deep is going to be something we'll have to get done at some point. That's always a very long episode. Um, Planet distress, obviously, is to instigate an emergency broadcast. So we have to. Uh, we can get ourselves a settlement as well. Uh, I may hold off on that. I'm not really into the settlements, to be honest with you. I've been getting to that point. So, And we'll do the base computer archives. We're going to do a little bit more of that at some point. But next episode will be our Atlantid fellows. And we're going to check that out and see about they who returned and get that done. So we are complete here. Oh, it looks like we have ourselves a traveler. So, But we have all of our... Uh, you know what? That can come in handy, though. Hello, traveler. Uh, let's see, that skin is translucent, if not truly there, I should have done it sooner, I was, I was afraid. I, how do I do it? How do I do it? How do I make this right? He's, the traveler seems ill or old, their words are labored, broken, what decay is like for this species, I do not know. But they try to speak even in spite of their infirmity. Um, ask what they mean. That's what I'll do. They say that they abandoned me many years ago, that they were not ready for what fate had forced upon me. They tell me they are proud of me. That's interesting. They pass me some. <clears throat> they pass me something through the smog of worlds, and then at, in that instant, I know this individual. I know them as if from another life. But the vision passes. The traveler stands before me as if nothing had happened. That is crazy. We got some uh, seventy-six nanites from him, <clears throat> but we're going to offer one hundred to ask where they came from. Jever Webethodad offers directions to a place of interest. Okay. And we'll check that out later. All right. So here we are back in our system. You notice we do have a solar ship right in front of us, a nice red one, uh, C class. So I'm not going to go for that. And we got some nice uh, haulers and stuff that are popped in. Very pretty. Is this system. Let me see here. Conflict though. Power generation prosperous. So this is actually a really good system. It's a three-star system too. All right. Well, I think that's it. We're going to jump in and out to give ourselves a save point. We're done. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. Please hit the, 
I can't even talk anymore. Hit that like and subscribe button. I really, really appreciate it. The like button really does help the channel, so we really appreciate when you do that, folks. And we will see you in the next episode. Take care, everybody.